Yo, I wanted to show you guys a really useful trick uh, inside of Adobe Audition. What we're talking about today is stretching a song or remixing a song. And one thing that I've noticed, uh, you know, just watching YouTube videos or something is say you have like a six minute vlog. Um, you know, you go out and you find a song and well, it's not six minutes long. It's probably like two and a half, maybe three minutes. Um, and somewhere in the middle of the, of the video, the song starts over or it switches to a different track. Um, if you want your videos to have more of a professional quality to it, like elevated videos, that's kind of what this channel is all about. Um, then what you can do is use this little trick to stretch the song or remix the song to the length that you specifically need. Um, I'm going to go to Artlist because that's where I get my music. Why I use Artlist is because you can do anything with their tracks. Uh, you can use them for commercials. You can use them for videos, movies. Uh, you can use them for a podcast. You can do anything you want with their tracks if you are a paying subscriber. And it's the same price as Epidemic Sound. And uh, with Epidemic Sound, you cannot use their stuff for anything other than the one intended purpose that you signed up for. So if you do want to check out Artlist, that is not the theme of this whole entire video, but a caveat nonetheless. If you do want to check out Artlist, you can get down in the description. There is an affiliate link down there. And you get two months for free if you sign up using my link uh, and if you sign up I make like a couple bucks so it's a win-win situation you don't pay me that couple bucks Artlist does so let's uh, go ahead I've already downloaded a really cool track I went to video theme right here inside of Artlist I went to vlog and uh, I picked out this cool track because I like this track and it seems like all the tracks that I really enjoy are like a minute and 52 seconds long. Every single track that I like uh, is one minute and 52 seconds long. I'm just kidding. That's not real. But this one happens to be a minute and 52 seconds and that's not long enough for a vlog. It's just not. I like this. It's got that whole like electronic pop hip hop beat thing going on that's uh, very uh, popular these days. So, we've only got a minute and 52 of this goodness. So, I already downloaded this. Let's head over to Audition. Um, I brought the song in. And uh, so, let's go ahead. We're going to drag and we're going to drop it. Gonna let uh, Audition do its thing. Okay, now, you can see, if I put my cursor to the very end of this song, down here, uh, it's about 151, 152. Cool. So what we're gonna do is right click on that track, we're gonna go down to Remix, and we're gonna hit Enable Remix. It's analyzing the clip, as it says right here. I'm gonna do these things in real time, just so you can see how fast this really is. Say you're working on a video, like I said earlier, and uh, you need it to be a different length. It's very important because like a lot of people, say you're making a 60 second spot for a client, a lot of people would go 60 seconds and then just fade out where the fade is. You know, not everyone's a musician. Nobody, uh, not everybody knows how to count beats and measures and, it's important to do that, especially if you're working on a client video, whenever, you know, you are using 60 seconds of a song, the artist that made that song, they have an outro to the song. They have an ending. It's cool to use the ending of that song. So what you can do is use, you know, part of the beginning and part of the end and snip out all that stuff in the middle. When you put those two things together, it needs to be seamless though, or else if you hear it, it's kind of jarring. Here's how you can do it. Say we are making a video that is three minutes long. All right. Over here in the remix window, uh, you can see target duration. And that's the length of our song currently. It is 152 and plus or 
plus or minus five seconds. All right, these are slack seconds. This is, you know, what the program needs to be able to say like, okay, uh, these beats are going to take me an extra second to make, you know, so we need this to make this perfect, these cuts. Um, so we're going to make a, say, a three-minute video. So this is all in real time. Put your cursor right on the time there. Hold it, and let's drag it out to three minutes. Now you're going to notice two things. Remix duration, three minutes, two seconds. Well, that's because of those slack seconds we just talked about. The other thing that you're going to notice is this was the end of our song right here. And now it is way out here. You're also going to notice these little zigzag lines in the track now. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where the program within two or three seconds just went ahead and stretched your song perfectly and fused these two things together to make one long perfect track. So let's go ahead and listen to this this cut right here and listen to how seamless this is. It's like it was there the whole time, but it wasn't. So right there in two or three seconds, we literally just took a song that was one minute, 52 seconds. We stretched it out to match the length of our fictitious vlog that we're making. And nobody would be the wiser. For all everybody knows, this song was originally three minutes and two seconds. Um, you can do this the opposite way as well. Let's take this and say we're doing a 60 second spot for a client. Let's drag all the way back to, let's say, a minute. Now our song is back here at a minute. Let's listen to that cut. Boom. So it gave us an awesome track with the intro. It cut everything down that we didn't need and it gave us the ending of the song. That's important. It's very important to have that outro of a song because when you're finishing a video, it is way more impactful to have the end of that song match the video than it would be if you just fade out after, say, 57 seconds or something like that. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you can use Adobe Audition to perfectly stretch and remix a song to the perfect length that you need for your videos. It literally did it for me in two or three seconds. You guys watched it in real time. It sets up the whole flow of your video and if you end strong with a nice outro, your video is way better than the guy that went and just faded out at 55 seconds. Um, so go check that out. Give it a shot. If you guys want to try Artlist, like I said, down in the description, there is a link. You can get two free months if you use my link. And uh, it is an affiliate link, so uh, Artlist will pay me a few dollars if you sign up. It's very cool. And like I said, you can use these, these tracks for anything. You can use them on commercials, radio spots. You can use them on a podcast. You can do it in a film anything. So it's pretty cool. 15 bucks a month. It's pretty banging. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, get down there, hit the subscribe button most of all, and then hit that like button. Let's get the likes up on these videos. I'm really excited to share this knowledge with you and, uh, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.